Thanks for checking out the GSP YouTube channel. This is going to be a quick overview on how to manipulate files within a Highlight Terminator X system using the SD card on the three and a half inch handheld. Uh, obviously, I've got my system powered up here. It's going to be the you know call it key on, uh, give the uh, the 12 volt keyed power uh, its its power, and you'll get to this screen here. So after you've already completed your TPS auto set and created a wizard tune or gotten a, a tune file from me or, or whoever your tuner is. Um, you'll be ready to run your engine. But uh, in order to put that file on, um, uh, there will be a laptop portion of this later or a computer portion of this later so that uh, we can understand where the files go. Uh, but this is the, the handheld side of it. So you go to File and go to Global Configs. And in Global Configs is where you're going to see all the available um, global configuration files, GCFs, Tune files, whatever you want to call them. These are all going to be the files that you have available on the SD card. And, and as I said, we'll, I'll show you where to populate these uh, on the, the computer side of things, the PC side of things, uh, at, at the end of the video. Uh, so in order to actually put a tune on the, uh, on the ECU, you want to select the tune. I'm just going to pick one here and click Upload to ECU. And it'll say, are you sure you want to do that? You say OK. And it uploads really quickly and then it says, OK, I'm done. Turn the ignition off for it to take effect. Um, that happens the same deal with the, uh, the laptop side. You have to cycle the power. Um, I'm not going to do that for the sake of the video, but make sure you guys do that whenever you're actually swapping your tunes out. Uh, additionally, the uh, download to ECU, or sorry, excuse me, the download from ECU button, what that actually will do is take the tune that's on the ECU and pull it off for you so that you can take it to your computer. And the reason that this is important is because this is where we actually take our learn data that we've populated that table, um, and, and there's a lot of uh, useful information in that table that you can you can make changes to your field table and such. Um, once we've populated that learn table, you need to be able to pull that off the ECU so that you can go look at it, make sure that it's good data, and then go from there as far as if you want to you know update your uh, your base field table or not. So, uh, in order to do that, we just go in here and click download from ECU, and it's going to say, "Do you want to save this to the SD card?" and my advice to everybody is whenever you're saving data that you actually have accrued a learn table on, go in here to click Save GCF As. And what this allows you to do is actually come in here and name it something else. And what I always do is I just come in and put a little dash here and go back. Oh, I made a, made a typo. And I just add data to the end of it. And what that does for you is it tells you that this tune file contains learn data. There, you have the other tune file that does not contain learn data. And while, yes, I know a lot of you are saying, well, what's wrong with ha having learn data on there? What I like to know is when I upload a tune, that learn data is going to affect my fueling. So I, wanted, I just want to know which is which uh, and keep up with it. And then that helps me keep up with it as well on the laptop. So this is going to be... Um, I have a C6 Corvette, so this is tune file name is, is C6, V7, and then the date. So, uh, if I go ahead and hit OK, it's going to take all that information and it's going to go and save it uh, to the SD card. And at that point, we can pull the SD card out and uh, take it to the laptop. So, I'll see you there. All right, so we've made it to the laptop portion of the video. Uh, it doesn't have to be a laptop. It can also be uh, your desktop, anything you can use to read your SD card. And uh, obviously, I would recommend uh, using a PC so you can manipulate the software as well. But uh, for the sake of this video, we're not even going to look at the software. We're purely going to be looking at the SD card and its contents. So we've come from the car, and we've put the SD card in our laptop, and... Now you can see the SD card is listed as the D drive and it has two folders and uh, one file on the root directory. Um, this file on the root directory is firmware and um, you don't really need to do anything with that. That is going to hang out right there and as long as it is the latest version um, that's on the ECU and there's not a newer version on the SD card, uh, it will not do any kind of updates. That firmware is for the handheld. And uh, if you have a newer firmware for the handheld in this location than what is on the handheld, when you power up, it will notice that and it will make a change. So, first things first, let's look in the Holly folder. Um, there's this FW folder in here. Um, everybody's got some version of this. It's a 100 or a 200 or whatever it is. 
depending on the type of software that you're using. In, in my case, I'm on V1, so we've got an FW0100. And in this, I'm looking at Save GCF and Wizard. And for the sake of this, we're only going to look at Save GCF. This is where we're looking for those files that we were just making back on the car. Under Save GCF here, you can see this is everything that we were looking at uh, on the car. We're just able to actually see it in uh, the SD card on our laptop, and you can open up these files, or you could you know, copy this and put it into a folder on your desktop, and that way you can send it to me. You can put it in the uh, folder that, uh, if you have the Terminator X software, there's a folder that's created in Documents under Holly, Terminator X, Save GCFs, same kind of deal. And uh, you can do whatever you want to do with, with these files right here. These are your tune files. Uh, the, the GCF, the, the Turks file, if you go to send this to somebody, it's going to be a .turks file, not info. That's a big one that uh, a lot of guys uh, kind of make a mistake on is thinking that this info file is their tune file, and it is not. You're looking for the one that ends in a .turks. And because I've got these assigned to be Terminator X files, you don't actually see it, but you can see when I hover over it that the, uh, the type is Turks file. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the root directory one more time. And so this is our, you know, the, the root of the SD card. And here's save data logs. And as you can see, I've got a ton of save data logs in here. And so when you hit start logging and you, you make a data log, it goes into this folder right here. And if you need to send that to me or whoever your trainer is, then you can also pull these files off, put them into the correct location on your documents. You can put it on a folder on the desktop so it's easy to find in your email. However you need to do it, here's where they're at. All right, so I'm not going to make this one long. That's, uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, if you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Thanks a bunch.